As you may have seen previously on this channel, I have began my long and very much treacherous quest to become a roller coaster designer. Having met the man that designs the likes of Nemesis and Galactica, John Wardley of course, there's no photographic evidence to go with that but I promise you I actually did. When I did meet him, he told me that to get into designing rides you have to practice No Limits 2, a simulation software that's probably the best in its field, definitely when this game exists. So when he told me to practice No Limits 2, I did just that. Yeah, it didn't go very well. But I'm here today on my own because I want to try again but instead of this time going off my stupid wits and building a coaster randomly why not base some coasters that I'm going to make off real ones in the real world so I'm going to be trying to recreate Alton Towers roller coasters in No Limits 2 and I'm sort of just see how far I can go with it. This is going to go horribly wrong, I can already tell. And if you are new around here and you do go on to enjoy this video, then please subscribe. And we've managed to raise over £2,000 for Mind, the mental health charity, on our event, Hero All Day. There's only two weeks to go, so consider donating down below. So before I actually load up No Limits 2, I need to actually think of an Alton Towers coaster to make. So my best options are probably several song-filled hours later. You know what? For the culture, Let's remake Rita. I'll try this one and then maybe do a couple more afterwards because I think this one might be quite easy, you know. That's famous last words right there. So we've got this flat land. So if I go to new coaster, we're going to name it Rita. Oh, that's a really good way of spelling Rita, that. Go to coaster properties and go to trains, no colours. Which one is it? Style. Uh, that's it. Rita is my favourite classic steel looping coaster. Rocket coaster. That's it. The train looks very similar. How do we start this? Oh, I remember. I remember. No, I don't. I think we start a vertex here, and then we sort of go along like so. That's a very small trap piece, and I think that is very close to the floor. It's underground! I think that's sort of more the height we want to go for, isn't it? That's where the station will be. I'm trying to build the launch track here, and I have no idea how long the actual launch track is, so I could make it 8,000 feet long if I wanted to. I need to get my dimensions right. And you know what? That is quite a straight launch straight. Usually when I played this game before, the launches end up being like the Grand National Lift Hill where you sort of go up it and go, hmm, that doesn't look very straight, does it? But you know what? I've done a solid job there. I deserve a medal and an award and just the whole world to clap for me. If you're at home, clap. That seems to have worked pretty well, you know. It goes down the launch, and why is the launch now... Why is it off axis? You know what I said about the red on G-forces and stuff? It is actually a very good sign if it is all red like this. You won't fly out at all. I've decided to give up on doing certain sections at a time, and I might as well just sort of place it all down at once and then sort it out afterwards. Maybe that wasn't the greatest idea. What has happened over here? You go down from this curve here all the way around and then... What is that? I wouldn't say it's looking awful so far. I've managed to get rid of most of the red bits. I don't think there's any, uh, any left really. Maybe here a little bit. But no, this this could be successful, you know. Have I actually made Rita to a sort of subpar standard? We're going to freeze it for the first time. Here we go. It's red. Oh my god, that's such a beautiful shade of red as well. I thought I made it too dark, but wow. I'm intrigued to see a POV. Let's test it. Here we go. Oh my god, that was a quick launch. Oh, that wasn't too smooth. Up the hill. You know what? Oh my god, that was quite smooth. Round again. Again, really smooth. Have I actually made a decent ride? It's a little bit jittery here and there. Oh, okay, right. And through the station roof. Love that. That's, you know what? Even this bit smooth. Am I actually good at this game now? I swear to God, show me this video in like three years' time when I've designed the next roller coaster for Alton Towers, and I just, you'll be bewildered. Oh, it's time to build another ride. Galactica's a good one to try because that also includes some inversions, so it might trick my mind. Your mind's playing tricks on you, or are my tricks playing on your mind? Galactica. 
Galcactica. Go to the style on this one, and I believe it's the twisted flying coaster, the exact model we want. Beautiful. So we'll make the station for Galactica here. Obviously, it has get two better stations, at it. but I'm only going to make one because two would just be pointless. <laughs> Here, we're going to go up the lift hill. Now, I don't know the exact incline of the Galactica lift hill, but nor do I care. And before you comment saying it's not realistic enough, Rita isn't next to Galactica. I know, okay. I've had to check Google Maps because I had no idea what I was doing, but I'm back now. I'm, I'm all good. So we've obviously got the drop, the little airtime hill, and then this here is going to be the fly to lie section where you sort of go like that onto your back and then bank down and round. And I can just see it looking awful, but that's fine. <laughs> And then this here is when, if it's not that steep, Jesus. This here is when it will turn back into the lying position and go under a little tunnel, which I've just realized the station is underground and I've done it above ground. Oh God, I just want to die. I feel like this video has been a bit crazy so far. So here's some relaxing music to listen to whilst I time lapse. What a turnaround. <laughs> Drop down from here into the barrel roll, but I don't know if that's going to go very well because I've not made an inversion on this game properly before. This bat bit's going to be so difficult because there's just so many different turns and little airtime hills and little jinks to the left and right and I just can't be bothered. Can we just forget that the end bit exists? Oh, I don't think it matters really much, does it? Shall we freeze this one as well? Here we go. It's creating the tracks. I'm scared for what this is going to look like. Oh my word. I like the colour. That drop looks all right. That bit's... That's not even right. Here we go. We're loading on. Wow. There's the flying... It makes the same noise as well, it's so realistic. I totally put that in, you know. Go out of the station, round, you see Rita off to the left, that's just not normal, but here we go up the very short lift hill, and down the drop, here we go. Oh dear. I mean, it's not the roughest thing in the world. Oh, yep, as you do, that close to the lift hill, how did I get there? I don't know what I've done there, to be honest. Oh, God, I'm so... <laughs> Shall I make Oblivion for a laugh just to finish it off? Because I clearly can't build longer coasters at the... Imagine me trying to build Nemesis. Imagine me trying to build my own coaster because I'm a Phalanx member of staff. We're going to try it. Oblivion. I actually spelled that one. <laughs> I've decided this time that it'd be funny to just give myself one go at it. So if anything goes wrong, I have to leave it. So that lift hill going right... I'm leaving it. Look at that. Imagine going on Oblivion and just turning out of the station so far right that your lift hill's just a bit shit. Here we go. I don't know why we're out of banked, but we are. This is a this is a very weird experience. You can see Galactica and Rita. That's a bit better, you know. They're, they're always quite far away, so that's quite nice to see in this mode. And then we'll go down here. Transport into the vertical drop. I, I think there might be a hold. No, why is it a train of six cars? Uh, I think at some point I need to properly learn how to play that because it, that wasn't it. Subscribe to stay tuned in case I do get better at it.